The next update of ProPresenter 7 is here with version 7.7. .7. Today we're taking a look at the new workflow improvements that is taking Pro 7 to the next level. And because of these new features, we're gonna try something I've never done before in ProPresenter 7, but I think it might just work. To get started, Pro 7.7 .7 will now maintain text attributes across your multiple outputs, whether displaying text in your main screen, output, or as a lower third on your live stream. When you make fancy changes to text, such as underlining words, changing the color, or fonts, the text will remain the same across all of your outputs. Puts. So cool. Custom clear groups are a new feature in Pro 7.7 .7, and they really make a lot of sense when you think about it. Back at the release of ProPresenter 7, the interface was moved around a little bit, which gave your ProPresenter operator the ability to clear specific layers as well as clear all. With Pro 7.7, .7, now we can right click to configure clear groups. And in this panel, we can add and remove which layers get cleared when you click the clear all button. This is great for keeping clear all from removing your camera on the stream or your announcement going to the announcement layer out to the lobby. We can also change the icon, color, and even add a custom icon. But wait, there's more! What does this plus icon do, huh? Oh nice, we can even create multiple clear groups, not just manipulate the original, so that's really cool. I thought it'd be really fun to duplicate the individual layer clear buttons, but the developers only let you display five groups, so you can't actually uh, Duplicate. You can create unlimited groups, however, but you can only display five of them on the screen at once. So you can redrag the order. So if you wanted to have more than five built, you could drag them up to use them. I'm sure I'm gonna find lots of great uses for this feature, but today my creative energy has gone into this. Well, first of all, I made a rocket launch clear group. How cool, how useful. Or what do you think of this massive clear group? I think that's pretty good too. That's sure going to really help your operator and mine. <laughs> Planning Center integration with Pro 7 is something I have been using a lot lately. Each week in Planning Center, I create our weekly service, I pick the songs, and then I schedule our team. In Pro 7, instead of creating a new playlist, I use the Planning Center integration to take the work I have already done and bring it into Pro 7. I click the plus arrow, select Planning Center service, and select my Sunday service. Drag it to the top of the playlist, and now I'm ready to begin the service. Pro 7 finds and adds songs from my library and even brings in my headers. So new to ProPresenter 7.7, .7, at the top of my playlist, there is now an attachment icon and a plus icon. Clicking the attachment icon opens a page that shows me all the files that go along with this Planning Center service. I uploaded this video, which we're gonna be showing this Sunday during our service, and now I'm gonna add it into my playlist. Before, you would have to download the video from Planning Center and then bring it into ProPresenter 7. Now, it is that easy to integrate files from Planning Center to Pro 7. With the plus icon, you can now add headers into any playlist without converting it to a standard playlist. Also, you can now add placeholders into any playlist inside of ProPresenter. We are almost done with this update, but shortcuts are here. You can now map virtually every function of Pro 7.7 .7 and control it all from the keyboard. This is gonna be extremely useful for the Sunday mornings when you go to set up for a service and this happens. Great. Just make sure you have a second computer running ProPresenter 7 so you can look up all the shortcuts for everything. That's gonna be fun. So here, I'm gonna try an attempt to manually set up my playlist without the mouse and use only the keyboard. So first, let's command tab to make sure Pro 7 is selected. Then we're gonna control command and that's gonna create a new playlist. We're going to name the playlist. Then we're going to click command F, which is gonna open the search window. Now we can type in our song we're looking for. So before we finish showing off the shortcuts feature, I wanna look at the last update right here in the search bar in ProPresenter. We can now preview selected items in the library. When you click on it, right to the side, it shows a list which shows you all of your slides and different things. This is really helpful for making sure that you have selected the correct version of a song. Okay, so now that we have found the song we want to add, click Command Enter to add that song to our playlist. We can also repeat this process with any presentation items. And you know, I call this a success. Hopefully your mouse is gonna be charged soon. Thank you for joining me in this first look of ProPresenter 7.7.